Okay, uh, so instead of the, uh, the names, we should start with explaining the map. Like, what's the first thing that you can see here? The orc base, upper left. <laughs> but bottom left, right. but bottom left, that is. Yeah, we're starting pretty centralized on this map. Like, not in corners, but rather more towards the middle. Ooh. And oh my god, this map has a lot. Like, in general, just a lot. Yep, <laughs> that's also true. It also has a lot of cool creeps that I think we rarely see. So I'm also excited about those. And there's some, something very interesting. Like if you take a look at the tavern placement. Can the you find them? tavern placement. Uh, oh, my screen is so dark. I got no clue. Okay, that's <laughs> a shop. That's... Oh, the tavern? Is it surrounded by trees? No. But oh. they are inwards? Yeah, so they are pretty close to top left and bottom right. And oh, bottom left doesn't have oh, it. Exactly. And so are the red gold mines in the middle. They are also very close to bottom uh, right and top left. So those two players have a tavern and a red gold mine with a lot of gold. Whereas the other two players, bottom left, has a dragon roost close to his base. <laughs> and top right has a fountain of health close to his base. So you can imagine that this can be quite funny, right? Because there can be a lot of towers. So you can, t uh, you can tower up your fountain top right. You can tower up your dragon roost bottom left. Just to make sure that you are the only one with access to it. But you have the disadvantage that you are far away from a tavern that might also be towered by the other players. So you might be, you might have issues uh, reviving your heroes fast, <laughs> and you also don't have the uh, access to the to the red middle gold oh, mine. So. I love it. This sounds like pure chaos. Exactly, and that's that's why I said if you if you are free to make a map dedicated to FFA, there is so many cool things that you can do, and yeah, this is just the start. So there is more to come. <laughs> I can only assume that in the uh, post-game discussion, uh, this will be addressed. Oh, it's so unfair! I, I only got a level <laughs> 10 dragon, but I can't go for a year from um, But yeah, this is gonna be good, man. We see two blade masters, a DK, and an Archmage, so nobody made use of the tavern, but some people are making use of the sub button. Thank you, Pocket Factory, and Waxstrats, and Sargasm for the support. So the players knew the map beforehand, uh, so they had time to prepare. And I think this map you can do a lot of preparation. For example, we can see the safe first uh, expansion that you can go for is the corner, as the human player does, and top left does, and bottom right does. So only bottom left orc is not going for the easiest corner expansion, but instead goes for this one. And we can see this works uh, out very well, and it's an 18.5k gold mine in comparison to the 10.5k that is on the, in the safe corner. So I think that's also what I would be doing, uh, the route that the orc chose, so that you can get a lot out of the big gold mine quickly, um, as long as there are no big fights yet. And yeah, you can save the safer expansions for later or at least for the fast second expansion. Oh, the undead player has a little bit of issues because there's a bloodlusted polar bear with a brown oh, wow. bear, a black oh, bear oh, oh. fell. Yeah, it's not fell, uh, it's good. Right, right, right. A little bit on the edge, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it does. All Damn, right, I've next. never seen a bear as a creep. I'm yeah, already in love with the map. Murloc, a Murloc Nightcrawler as a rune of rebirth. <laughs> so this <laughs> one now belongs to the orc. Yeah, nice. All right. That's some poison damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, you always hate those when you're creeping. So it's nice to control one of them yourself for once. All right. So everyone got up their first expansion. And yeah, what I can spoil already is this is that this is a very, very high level game. Nice. Pretty much the, as good as it gets. <laughs> I can't yeah. think of a lot uh, better players than that. But Rulers, you're not playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, Chite, it is a new map. 
Okay, it's Shredder time. I assume everybody got access to a laboratory, otherwise that would be pretty unfair. Yeah, that's something I, I really like. Like, I really hate those maps where there is a lag, for example, here between the two players and one of them gets a Shredder, the other one doesn't, because this forces such an early imbalance that you're mostly forced to rush um, or that you're so far behind uh, that you are not able to catch up. So yeah, I like to have a lab that is safe for everyone in an FFA map, so yeah, this is pretty much perfect. And yeah, talking about the rest of the buildings, we have two marketplaces uh, that are between uh, the top and the bottom players, and we have two shops that are uh, left and right side. Mm, and then there are some tested. mercenary camps, but they are mostly a little bit of a filler, as they are not too, too important in an FFA game. All right then. We have Archmage Panda, not the most unusual combo. We have a mechanical yep. critter early on, sweet. We also have a Pit Lord on the undead side, which is becoming somewhat normal. Yeah, More Pit Lord normal? is really, really strong. Like, Sheik introduced it, and yeah, I think a lot of people now also go for it because it's just so, so nice. It, it gets rid of pretty much all the ground armies that you can face, like. Um, headhunters and especially breakers, uh, and also they're good against the tanks in com uh, in combination with the dreadlord sword. Yeah. So this is, I think, my favorite undead hero combo. Um, if you're not going for dreadlord first, all right. So, so we have, we have now the first one that goes to the middle. So the orc top left is going to the middle, and yeah, a lot of cool creeps there. We have heal wave here from the polar forebow. And yeah, let's take a look at the big uh, drop of the level, what is it, level 9, I think? Of the Furbolt Elder Shaman. Very convenient name, rolls off the tongue. That seems rush, uh, rough, with 8 armor and chaos damage and 1k HP. Lots of creeping yep. going on, so... There, obviously there's no Night Elf in the game. So, right. Leo... On the, on the drop. What? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 we focus on the drop, what we got. Ooh, Staff of Silence, not bad. And that was not a tiny great hole, right? That was... Yep, that was a tiny great hole. Wait, what? Yeah. But that's imbalanced for undead. <laughs> yes. or... Wait, did someone say imbalanced for undead? Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, heard, I heard I'm dead and I'm balanced. I'm here. Yeah, what, what are we missing? A, what a timing, dude. What a timing. Buff, buff, buff I'm dead. <laughs> so, is it always a tiny great hall or how does that work? Yeah, it's always a tiny great hall. So, for under it's, it's the worst, obviously. Um, for others, it's, it's pretty nice. Like, I actually tested this map with human and you can actually go for this red camp first if you are. I, I'm not sure. You, you you end up with all, uh, red archmage and yeah red footmans, so it, it's pretty pretty rough, but it's possible. So yeah, uh, for Ahmed that's not really a thing, I guess, to go for it early if they get an Acropolis. Um, and yeah, we have an engagement here. It seems like there's a red camp, but is it? I think it already has been crept. So yeah, a little bit of an engagement here. All right, so it's um, not always a tiny great hall. It is the main building of the faction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay, so Undead still needs the Haunted Gold Mine, while the other factions get a free free expansion. Yep, exactly that. Yep, that sounds exactly as painful as I was imagining there, Mule. So I'm glad you pointed out the hypocrisy. <laughs> All right, we have a first fight here already. So Human goes on the Orc here. And that's always a very rough push, push here. For Especially. the walk because the walk needs a lot of lumber, and yeah, therefore, um, it's tough to get the time for it if there is such an early engagement. So, yeah, let's see how he deals with it. So far, so good, I'd say. I realized I have the Panda Breath of Fire back. Whoopsie. Alta can fall, it's not that important anymore, but all the burrows are intact, the economy is still working, no production has been killed. Looking fine. I just yeah. feel like something missing on the orc is it spikes. <laughs> not been upgraded Ooh. quite yet. 
Every time I look at an orc as an observer, I just hear Todd's voice shouting, Spikes, get Spikes! placement is, wow, well, a little bit roughy for the orc. He's doubling to retreat here a little bit. So, yeah, what about uh, revealing player names, Ghost? I waited for you. Uh, you, you, you want me to do it? It's like, uh, it's like welcoming me to a birthday party to like sing happy birthday. <laughs> to, I don't know, maybe after this engagement, I think we'll announce it. Sounds good. The TC is falling. Chat can guess, of course. Maybe they're right. Uh, some educated guesses, of course, already earlier. TC dead. The other heroes super hurt. No shop nearby. It is starting to be a bit problematic here. Yep. And in the meantime, the other players here have three creeping here. My purple is looking like half an hour of them here so far. Yeah, purple is not having the greatest time. <laughs> Down to 45 supply. And yeah, our level 5 panda, what happened to this guy here? He killed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow, I've never seen such an early level 5 panda, I think. Yeah, this yeah, is the, the second hero. Yeah, this is the Nightcrawler MVP. Oh, <laughs> sick! Wow, nice Jeez. place. Ne next level uh, awareness here. Dumping a Nightcrawler into the tiny expansion. And we are also fighting bottom left already. So yeah, this map has so many creeps. So take a look at all the red spots still on the map and still uh, players decided to go quickly onto them, and yeah, uh, I think it's it's okay now to <laughs> reveal the players. All right, cool. So, oh, well, I suppose based on the aggro gameplay, the teal is none other than Zetod, the yeah. purple. I'm looking at the APM just to clarify what the purple is, but purple is still the red undead is no other than Sheik, and the blue as the FFA god, Lilu, playing as Orc. What? Yes, yes, you All heard right. that right, Neil. Orc, Lilu, yep, both in the same sentence. I didn't expect Todd to play on such a crazy map. Uh, I thought he's more of a standard map player, but good to see. She doesn't really surprise me. Also, Rulers uh, mentioned before that it's his Pit Lord build. Lilu as Orc, man, that is quite yeah. something. Yeah, and that's actually the first mind game because players don't know each other, but they know that Lilu is the reigning champ, so he would be the only one that wouldn't be anonymous if he picks Nidal. So he said, okay, I pick Orc, and then uh, there is no issue for me well, to get revealed. There is an issue now with Necro Wagons yeah, in his like, base. I've never seen a Necro Wagon push being held in an FFA, like we saw Aranicus buying and of thousands of times <laughs> against it. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how Lilu does against Sheik. This seems to be an uphill battle as well here for an off-race pick. But he's not doing too bad, I, I would say. Um, yeah, the big issue for Orc is that they rarely go for early spirit walkers. They rarely go for witch doctors and shamans. So yeah, it's super hard to fight against these uh, necromancers. As the heroes are getting the like master goes down. Yeah. And not re uh, retreating a little bit for now. I'm not sure if he's already scouting the other side. Um, okay, but now I guess he he's coming back. And yeah, <laughs> both the orcs are getting demolished here. Yeah, two I mean, orcs early game are getting bullied out of the game. Uh, I mean, to be fair, late game orc is super scary, so uh, I advocate for this. And it's funny because uh, in a conversation with Sheik uh, earlier last, or, or sorry, later last week, uh, because this is now Monday, he was saying he feels like Godfather a little. He may have to uh, impose the Necros. So I was like, why? Godfather is like moving away from Necros. Sheik's embracing them. <laughs> so I thought people would start guessing that the undead was actually Godfather. But I guess the Pit Lord, when I seen it, I thought, mm, that maybe gives it away a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Not sure. Yeah. Pit Lord, definitely a signature hero here for Sheik. And yeah, uh, the Orcs are pretty much toast. And the question is, um, will they leave? Will they hope that the other Orcs dies before them and they can survive into a freeway? So, Dill is definitely doing this. So he is actually <laughs> escaping outside his own base and trying to harass a little bit, buy some time for the other side to die before him. 
And speaking of the other side here, Lilo on 11 supply. So, uh, yeah, there's not too much left for him to harass. So, we could see a very quick 1v1 here between Todd and Sheik. But I mean, how, how often times have we already been saying this and then we had a two hour game <laughs> with Lilo winning? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we will not stop this game before we saw the dragon, to be clear. Interesting. Yeah, the dragon. <laughs> Uh, will come after I think 18 minutes. I think 18 minutes cooldown, something like something crazy. I mean, Pet Lord's gonna be super super cool uh, against Todd as they progress. Ooh. Oh well, Todd Lilo. calls. Ah, uh, uh, Lily calls it there. Yeah, Lilo 11 supplies, so there is nothing for him. And yeah, that's. <laughs> I, I, I never got vetoed. No, 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 I never got vetoed. Uh, I think Todd thought they, uh, they'd they done a veto system in all three of them. I didn't mention this beforehand. Whoops. I've, I was organizing everything else, so a bit busy and escaped my mind. But as, uh, the three of them were like, yeah, I don't mind chat. And uh, Todd was like, ah, let me know if it's chat. What was said? I, I don't know. Think I'll, we're I'll be getting... Clarify. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you can you let the guys know the guys know? <laughs> but Lilu out, which means we're gonna get a new champion. The Orc Endeavor didn't work out too well. Oh, but still is also leaving. All right, we got a one on one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, now we have to be quick with our analysis because one on ones can be over quite quickly, and I really love to see this. I mean, it's. Yeah, Sheik is down in supply, like 18 supply down. Uh, gold counts white equal, but yeah, Todd is already on the move. Level 553 five, and against 554, five, so yeah, okay, hero levels are also quite balanced. And he's TPing in here, Sheik now. Uh, but yeah, as we said, he's on 50 supply and all, uh, just pushing now. I mean, once the units arrive, it's gonna be very nice for him, so he has to. Hold for now, there is not too much building damage. There is also no blizzard yet, so we only have the Breath of Fire against the buildings. And this is now spent against the heroes. Alright, nice, we have a 1v1 here in an FFA, so it could be a pretty broad one. But yeah, I guess uh, the next couple of minutes are going to be quite intense, because now we see uh, Todd and Sheik pretty much both um, yeah, in their uh, bread and butter <laughs> game. <laughs> it's starting to feel like as it took longer to get everyone in the lobby than it did to end the game. And <laughs> you just you just said before the pause happened there, Ula. So you said, oh, you know, it looks over. It looks like a one v one's going to start soon, but it could turn into a two hour game. Caster curse is real, and this is just proving it. <laughs> You're right. Okay, so we have a lot of priests here, of course, against the skeletons, and this is going to be a lot of XP. Um, to the human heroes, and once the Archon is level 6, this is where it's getting really, really hard for the Unders on a big map against human. And already tanks are now coming in. Uh, not gonna help in the fight here, but they uh, would uh, do some nice damage here uh, to the buildings. And as we can see in the fight, the Unders is doing very, very well here, Sheik, against Todd. Cleave Lord is especially good against human, actually. I've seen it so many times where Unholy Friendly, Cleave Lord can just literally tear up the back line before you even blink. It's madness. Someone watched yeah, my letter streams. He's hiding here for Sheik, actually. This mine, uh, he saved his main gold. Um, here there is nothing, and here there is everything dead, so not a lot of income at the moment here for, for Sheik. And Todd is pushing into high upkeep, but so does Sheik. So, okay, we have a 100 versus 100 fight, level 5. Five five against uh, six five four. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. This is, I think, as balanced as an FFA can <laughs> can be at this stage. And yeah, uh, also the players, I think, both uh, should be very experienced here in these situations. Todd is going to crucify you if you call human verse undead balanced. But I totally agree. Of course, it was a nice little attack. Uh, Town hall killed before the TP went off. So. Two bases down for Sheik. Yep, yep. so very stressful moment. Uh, Sheik would have loved to get like two minutes before Todd uh, pushed him. But Todd was already on the portals when he, uh, when they um unpaused the game pretty much. Uh, now the pit lord has to shine. Brutilus, let's go. Uh, with the cleave here, of course, against this pure ground army pretty much. Uh, very, very MVP. 
90% damage spread and carry and swarm into casters. Love to see it. That's looking yeah. dangerous, and you've seen that as well. The cleave was actually reaching all the way back to Archmage, slowly but surely Archmage was dying. Madness. Yeah, and this is now a super, super macro game. Like, you can see the whole left side of the map is free for them to take. So they can harass there, they can expand there, they can send knights there. And as soon as Archmage becomes level 6, which is not too far away, uh, this game will be turned into its head, because then suddenly the human is not forced to engage into these fights, but rather, yeah, uh, mass TP in, main bases, get out, mass TP expansions and so on. So yeah, this is going to be a pain for the undead. But before that, we have a level 6 panda with the ult. Uh, nice. Of course, uh, the Cyclone against the Pit Lord for the damage uh, mitigation. And also the Frost Worm is now down, so this fight is looking way better than the ones before here for top. Little downside, of course. Pit Lord can't attack. Air is surrounded now. Oh. It's a coil! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. And he calls the game! Wow. It was 20 minutes or so! Yeah. This game must be a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> 21 well. minutes! <laughs> well. So Todd immediately says, I can do one more if you want. Yeah, I'm in. I am very hyped about this map, to be honest. This looks really good. I could just do one more. Yeah, maybe you ask still? Uh, uh yeah. Okay, Lelo says no. <laughs> <laughs> Lilu, come on! Come on! Are you chickening out? <laughs> Why would Lilu let, let us down? Yeah, that, that's what I've been talk, uh, telling Todd, that this is a very nice way of playing the FFA, the way that you like to play. Um, if you perfectly synchronize your own 1v1 with the other side, then suddenly you end up with a final 1v1 if both sides die at the same time. And yeah, this was pretty much picture for a perfect demonstration of how a game looks, if it's going to be played like that. And yeah, the, the final 1v1 was, was looking very good for Sheik, I thought. But then the, the final fight, suddenly he fell apart and of course with losing the Pit Lord, um, yeah, the first ultimate of the panda was maybe the game changer. Like if, if he had level six pit lord or level six dread lord, uh, might we might see a different game there. Uh, trying to convince people, <laughs> Todd, Todd got his way with people, and slow but surely just killed everyone. So quite difficult to convince people to come back when it's like so raw, guest. But. Wow, such a such a short game. Can we find a replacement maybe for Lilu? Yeah, I just want to make sure that all others want to play before. Sure, sure, we sure. Because then we end up with. Uh, Hi tech, okay, what about you? I see you in the chat. <laughs> or ghosts jumping in, or rulers jumping in. Oh, I'd just be tomed. I don't want to be like an XP tome for people, but hey, I, I might try it. If you want me to go, I'll give it a, a bash and showcase the ultimate 1k MMR nublet. All right, she has to go in one hour, so he also says nope. All right, I mean. That's tricky then. But of course better to say no immediately than uh, having to go in an hour. Who's the groundskeeper willy sounding guy? <laughs> 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 that is Ghost, the legend. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's it. Wait a minute, who's that? Do be guy. Ah, there's soccer in the chat as well. <clears throat> there's a the groundskeeper Willie emoji that I put up there as well. Uh, part of the chat emoji say that soccer is currently using. 
I don't think I sound that much like grounds groundskeeper, Willie. I can make the impression I sound better than MK when I try, but at this point, I try and talk as clearly and slowly as possible, but even sometimes people get confused with what I say. You can hear me fine, Neil, right? You can understand me. Uh, yeah, I gotta focus a little bit, but I can understand. That's all that counts. Viewers can just listen to me ramble and they can just pretend. But as, as long as you <laughs> understand, then I know I'm getting the thumbs up. Uh, what's this? I'm just trying to convince other people to pop in uh, and try. I don't know if we can take people short notice. So to Todd's definitely on if it wants to go. Better? Sorry? Oh, I think Todd's definitely in. Todd is in, that's good. That's in, yeah. Everyone else? Realize, I think you should jump in. Me, you, Todd. We should just Todd team it. <laughs> team Todd it. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not going to team him out because he'll, he'll think I'm being serious with this. <laughs> I'll, I'll fare one on one and absolutely tone myself from. Uh, anyone else you can think of? Did you put a, a thing up in the Discord for people to volunteer? Yeah, I mean. I think chances are pretty low, honestly. <laughs> All right, Billy Connolly as well. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Your chat is is absolutely flaming me at this point. <laughs> Scottish Billy Connolly. Uh, not even close to that either. Yeah, I think I think. I Probably going to be ideally difficult to set another one up in such short notice, considering Sheik. Uh, I know Sheik was having to leave early. This is a player that had to go to 16, or sorry, 18 CET for, uh, because he had to leave by, uh, I think it was 20 CET. Um, so I know he would definitely not be able to come in again. Still, I think it's not really too uh, pleased we, we uh, or sorry, continuing another game. And Todd had so much fun, he, he didn't want to just do it once, he wants to do it twice. <laughs> he came back for a second time. Yeah, yeah, He's... I think we can leave it like this for today, if that's fine for everyone, because, yeah, it's very low chances and like, I won't repeat it yet. <laughs> Replied. And yeah, Shikli Lokan still, I think, also not, and... Yeah, one player, not not enough for an FFA. Unfortunately <laughs> not, but... Um... Wow, it, it took That's longer it, to then, organize it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> organize okay. it. Okay. And That's put them it. in a lobby that it did to actually have the game. That's it then. Okay. That's the FFA weekly and back to Warcraft for this week. <laughs> Almost as short as a as a medium length happy game. Wow. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I will stream later then. Yep. Do that. <laughs> yeah. oh. That that's how it can go. Like you are trying to organize, make this anonymous accounts, everything super sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, okay, I tried. Dude, I just never watched it. <laughs> oh, can, it was much better before, but, but... But can we do the same setup for next week? Because I think the premise is very promising. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, Graham Bolton is definitely something on my agenda now, so that's going to help. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure I can manage it. I'll try I'll try set up uh, the same... Uh, thing for next week. I mean, we realize uh, definitely we'll have something set up for next week. All right. I may not be. It may not be as high level gameplay, but <laughs> we'll try. Right on. Okay, that was the fastest one probably, but uh, entertaining nonetheless. That's how FFA can can be. Sometimes it's six hours, sometimes it's twenty minutes, and today was just twenty minutes. Rulers goes. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, I got a DM by Lelu. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you very much for your time, and we see you to the next week. Thanks for the yep. host there, Neil, and yeah. good luck. Have fun on your ladder, mate. <laughs> Take care, dude. <laughs> Take care, mate. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Well, well, 